I got a new life. You could hardly recognize me also. What would a person like you Street is empty because there was an apocalypse. Human mobility has got slowed down since there are only few traces of electricity left. Physicality has an important role among people who are left. They are slow. Let's not say they are survivors. These people did not struggle even, but only the time and climate had to push them to get through the whole catastrophe. When this slowness is prevailing in the air, suddenly there is a striking sound of skateboard riding into the light of the jazz bar. There is a man riding smoothly. A couple of fingers are tapping lightly on the edge of the bar table. The tempo is not fast. It is rather slow and effortless. It's not a traditional modern jazz bar. Is it contemporary? No, no one knows. Music? There is a band awaiting. They don't play unless there is a request. Grace Gray enters gently through curtains at the entrance. A silhouette of a man accompany her. Grace Gray finds her usual seat next to Yon Larson. Yon Larson quickly observes Grace Gray with his eyes full of curiosity. Actually, that is his general look. How are you? I'm good. Life is okay. Your Larson seems impressed by the fact that Grace Gray possess a certain calmness. She has passed all the shit times. Your Larson stares at her for 10 seconds without any words spoken. Your Larson realized there is a shadow behind Grace Gray. There is an Asian looking man standing, looks quite shy or humble. Your Larson's eyes are again full of curiosity. May I ask who you are? The shadow reveals his whole presence really slowly. Heads are turning slowly down to up, left to right or the other way around towards this unknown shadow man. The shadow starts to speak himself in Korean accent. My name is Nam Gumu. Nam I'm ten. Hello. Grace Gray continues the introduction. Gomu Nam is my assistant. For what? For my vision sculptures, for your flame to retrieve, to burn it, for our past future. Everyone in the bar seems quite surprised. Some people even gasp. They talked really low and whispering, repeating, flame, future, flame, future. I understand your language. But I speak good South Korean. I'm making good sculptures. I help my lady Grace Gray. 
Grace Gray seems proud of what Gomunam just spoke. She makes her outfit neat. Do you remember my trip to Korea just before the apocalypse happened? I had to make my flame burning again, like a fearless lady. I managed to meet the chief of the anti-aging center in Seoul. Neo Seoul, actually. Yes, with their program, I managed to make a new playlist of youth in music. That makes me feeling alive. Your Larson seems that he has to say something about it as well. And he starts looking at hands of Grace Gray that are relatively looking younger. I cannot believe it. I mean, it was not that easy to be here, no? Gomunam and Grace Gray are looking at each other. No one can read, yet what they are thinking. Yon Larsen has to keep his curiosity visible. Actually, it was not easy. But the anti-aging center was the most safe place in Neo Seoul. I mean, even the former president of Korea made her visit several times a week. That means it was highly secured. Highly recommended. I don't know much about Korea. But what would you like to drink? Now I'm trying to whiskey. Whiskey, please. The robot bartender Francis F. starts to mix drinks. Meanwhile, there is a sound of instrumentals slowly jamming at the corner. Grace Gray seems nostalgic all of a sudden. But she seems satisfied with her new hands. Gently patting her own hands, showing off to Yon Larsen, etc. Her new hands are the evidence of time and use that she is constantly after. Grace Gray continues her words. Yon Larsen, do you have any idea why it happened? General Barcinery. Jennifer makes her entrance with her husband. They both are so much in love. Jennifer A. and her husband naturally approach to the grace side and ready to listen. Jennifer A. seems impressed by Gomunam's presence. This is actually funny since Jennifer is able to see the next generation sometimes through a certain person. She likes to predict upcoming events. Of course, I know what exactly happened. I was tracing the climate change over the Far East Asia back then. Climate is the only thing we shared globally. But I could not believe it, actually, until now, really. Why the media did not function properly. Why no one could hear emergency alert. And why Gomu can still be a survivor with you, Grace? Gomu seems quite confident, while Yun Larsen seems confused and emotional. Flame and tongue. Language and sound. Pardon me? Tongue? No. T-O-N-G-U-E. The deliverer of our mind. Gomu is the only person who was able to speak, so I heard him screaming for help. I don't get it. How about other people? Are they mute? Or what? The others could not make sounds. Nobody was able to speak because of regression with their tongue was already happening. Tongue was already outdated communication tool for Korean people back then. Nobody told me about it. The communication was strictly virtual, 100% written language only. People like to text to each other, so they forgot how to speak eventually. Can you imagine? No one could talk to each other when there was no electricity and the internet. 
the apocalypse could be stopped if there are people could speaking. How about you? Why can you speak? Gomo seemed happy that Jennifer shows her interest, and he took it very personal. I like to speak to people. I like to speak to myself. I like to speak to my flame. I like hip hop music, so I practice check this out every day to feel the real human potential behind it. It is very important to practice. You should try. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. So there was natural disasters, and no one could not escape. People died immediately. How bad! Stupid! No one could stop it. Out of juice! Out of juice! I'm here to find you. Somewhere soon, is your mind? Who gets me?